Welcome back to Crypto Alter Channel guys. In today's video we're going to discuss about drop in the Bitcoin price that we had in the previous 24 hours. But before that I want to wish you happy Monday and the start of the new week. And now let's begin. So since we bottomed out and start this new bull rally over here, we went up pretty, pretty parabolic over here. And as we can see, the Bitcoin price did drop from this level of support of rising wedge. I did mention this rising wedge in the previous videos and I said it shouldn't be played out because we are in uptrend and the uptrend is your friend all until the end. Now, I'm not saying that the rising wedge did played out because of the rising wedge pattern itself. I also mentioned that this area of $9,000 over here and also the $9,200 is one of the most important ones after we broke this trend line over here, this big trend line that we have on the daily chart that we had in the previous eight months or so. Now, why I believe that this rising wedge played out is not because of the rising wedge itself, as I said, it's about this resistance of $9,000 and also if we bring the four EMAs over here, we can see that the 200 daily exponential moving average declined us pretty well and this moving average is also very important to determine in which trend we are right now and this is perfectly fine to be declined after this parabolic move which means for now we have still chances to go up why I will show you in a minute so in previous 48 hours I saw many people panicking for this drop on the Twitter on the social media and I will show you why you shouldn't worry about it if we move this trend line just a little bit over here we can see it's matching perfectly fine with the 200 daily exponential moving average on one hourly chart and with the, this channel that we had over here Bitcoin needs to correct itself we need to have some sort of a drop in order to let the bears take profits let the bulls take some kind of a reliefs and after that starts growing up we don't want to see parabolic moves anymore because those parabolic moves will exhaust the bulls and will drop the price further the lower even harder than it should and we will have much bigger losses so it's better to correct on this sort of a way also this resistance over here act pretty well which means it gives us perfectly good look on the Bitcoin price what Bitcoin price needs to do in order to continue bull market on normal way Bitcoin exhausted itself in the previous days or so and we needed this correction and for now we are finding perfectly fine bottom over here on this channel one of the very interesting stuff into this channel is also we have just two very neat touches which means that the bulls are pretty strong we had just one touch another touch and we separate ourselves from this level of support over here which is very important to see we don't want consolidation all the time on this level of support and break it and retest some major levels that we broke in the previous days also if we bring the RSI here we can see that the RSI did touched overbought zone in this is very important we are not in overbought zone and the Bitcoin is just finding some sort of a correction this is very good to get detached from this level and continue to uh, going a little bit sideways and continue to go on the upside afterwards so we can see also that the volume did drop a little bit and that also caused this drop correction let's say it's not the dump it's not manipulation it's just a naturally normal correction for now and it seems look like the Bitcoin is starting to correct itself over here so we are still not dropping further lower which is very important and and also I did mention about the volume it's very important to have big volume in order not to see any further dumps big whales can always sell big amounts of Bitcoin and make a big pressure if we don't have volume to defend ourselves now if we switch on the weekly chart we have even more bullish stuff to see because exponential moving average is below us and we are finding pretty neat support over here and I hope if we manage to retest it that we're going to bounce pretty well well also one very bullish thing over here is the MACD MACD on weekly chart is converting into the bullish side and this is going to bring us even more bullishness than ever because we are coming out from red since many 
many weeks ago. So be ready to see some crazy moves in the Bitcoin price. Overall, Bitcoin is bullish for now because if you are in doubt, just zoom out and you will see what is going on. As long as you're going to the short time frames, uh, you're going to see noise and you're not going to understand many things. So zoom out on four hourly chart is not so bad. One daily one weekly even one monthly you can see pretty interesting stuff that the bitcoin is in very good position to push us on the upside and hit the all-time highs now also i want you to start this week with a little bit laughing and this news you can find also on our instagram page peter schiff lost his bitcoin claims owning crypto as a bad idea so as we can see old man needs to learn that the bitcoin is money for the people by the people and if you're going to have your own money you need to take care of it it's not a bank and you need to realize that Schiff added that his bitcoin is now intrinsically worthless and has no market value he also added that i knew owning bitcoin was a bad idea i just never realized it was this bad after Schiff tweeted about his loss the crypto community was quick to jump to the rescue for example co-founder and partner at morgan creek digital anthony pompilano responding by asking if he forgot his password to which Schiff has responded that my wallet forgot my password so as you can see these are people who do not understand nothing about technology unfortunately and this stuff could occur if you're not educate yourself first before you jump into anything whether it's trading investing or owning something that you don't understand Pompliano then asked shift to email him directly the software just executed the command that humans give it it can't forget anything email me and I'll try to help you recover the lost Bitcoin however it looks like the Bitcoin may indeed be gone for, for good as shift responded Eric Vorcher set up the wallet for me and even he thinks there is nothing I can do but you're welcome to try if you have any ideas uh, it's unfortunate that this man was so negative about Bitcoin in so many many months or maybe even years if I remember and now this happened this is just going to uh, bring the even worse situation to, towards the Bitcoin from his side but that doesn't matter because uh, sooner or later they will all turn to the digital assets whatsoever now I hope you enjoyed our content and our technical analysis on the Bitcoin Bitcoin price please don't forget to leave us a like and hit that subscribe button if you like it let us know in the comment section down below what would you fix on our channel and what uh, kind of videos would you like to watch in the next episodes I want to thank every single each one of you for watching our videos as and always until the next video happy trading and goodbye